Good day class. In this video, I will demonstrate the basic controls on how we will use and operate the AutoCAD application software before we proceed to our drafting sessions. Upon creating new drawings in AutoCAD, the default units are set to English units, particularly inches, in which we need to adjust since in the actual practice we are using metric units. In order to adjust our units of measurement in our drawing or in our file, we need to execute the units command. Take note that in most things that we do in AutoCAD requires the input or execution of command. In order to execute a command, we need to type the shortcut keys in our command bars using our keyboard and to execute them by pressing the space bar. For example, let us adjust the units of measurements by executing the units command. The shortcut for units is UN or in phonetic alphabet uniform November. So let's type UN then press space bar. Executing the units command will make the dialog box for drawing units appear. So as I mentioned earlier, the default units is set to inches and we need to adjust this into a unit of measurement that is metric. In this course, you are required to use millimeters. And since we are using millimeters, you should set the precision to zero without any decimal points. Since in the actual practice or the actual objects that we encounter, we cannot easily measure things that are below one millimeter. So once everything is set, press OK to exit the dialog box. Another example of command input is by creating a line. To create a line, we need to input the line command. The shortcut for line is L or in phonetic alphabet Lima. So let's type L in our command bar then press space bar. It is important that we need to always look on our command bar in order for us to know what are we prompted to do every time we em every time we enter a command. So upon entering the line command we are prompted to specify the first point of our line so let's click anywhere on our working space and once we click this the first point we are now prompted to specify the next point of our line most of the commands cannot are not cancelled automatically in order to cancel a command just simply press the escape button from your keyboard. Every time we execute a command, we need to cancel them once we are done in order for us to perform or execute the next command, next necessary commands. Next is the selection. We have three methods of selection. The first method is by selecting the objects individually by clicking on them. The next method is by clicking somewhere on the blank space of our working space. We have the left to right selection which we call the window selection in which in order to select objects, these objects must be selected as a whole inside our selection box. Once an object is not selected wholly or not inside the selection box as a whole, like the first line, it will not be included in our selection. Unlike the other mode of selection, which is almost the same as the window selection, let's click on somewhere in our working space and instead of selecting from left to right, we'll, we'll do it the other way, from right to left. 
In addition, the window selection is indicated in blue color, while the other selection, the right to left, is indicated in green color. This is called the cross selection. Anything that intersects the cross selection will be selected. So you are in using the cross selection, you are not required to put, uh, put the whole objects inside your selection box. Next is a zooming. You can zoom your object by simply scrolling up using your mouse and zoom out using your mouse by scrolling down. You can also zoom using your zoom command. The shortcut for zoom is Z or in phonetic alphabet Zulu. So let's type Z and then press spacebar to enter the command. And you'll notice at the command bar, we have sub options. And the sub options contains letters that are highlighted in blue. So for example, we need to select a certain area in our working space. So let's try the window sub option, which is here. To, to execute the window sub option of our, of our zoom command, simply type W or in phonetic alphabet whiskey on your command bar then press spacebar to execute it. In window selection or window zoom, specify the first point and then specify the second point of your zoom. That area will be, the camera will automatically zoom in that area you selected. In working large projects and you want to see the plan as a whole, you can perform also the zoom command. So let's type Z and enter it, execute it, and let's use the all sub option. So uh, type A or alpha, then press spacebar. The zoom all option will show your whole drawing within your window. Next is the panning. Panning of camera views are done by simply clicking or pressing the middle click of your mouse and once you once you press them or once you click the middle click of your mouse your cursor will change and you can simply pan your camera views by dragging your mouse. Next is the object snaps. The importance of object snaps is that when, for example, we want to draw a line at the end of, a, of an existing line or at the midpoint of a line. So for example, one of the object snaps is turned off and you wish to draw a line at the midpoint of this line. However, your snap is automatically snapping at the end points and you are not able to draw at the midpoint. So in order to turn on the object snaps, the shortcut key for object snaps is OS or in phonetic alphabet, Oscar Sierra. So type OS, then press spacebar on your keyboard. You will now be directed to the object snaps tab of your drafting settings dialog box. So you need to turn on your midpoint and once you turn this on, click OK to apply and let's repeat the process 
that we are doing earlier, you'll notice that there will be an object snap at the center of your line. However, if you want if you want to draw somewhere else without using the snaps, you can easily turn off turn them off by again entering your object snaps or OS and turn off the object snap. Or you can quickly do this by just pressing F3 on your keyboard. Once you press the F3, you'll notice in your status bar that it will turn off. And also, it will be registered in your command bar. Next is your ortho. If you want to draw a line or any objects but you want to align them along your vertical and horizontal grid, you can just simply toggle your ortho on by pressing the F8 on your keyboard. So what, if you press F8, you'll notice in your command bar that your ortho is on. When your ortho is turned on, you will, not, you will notice that your line will be aligned automatically on your X and Y axis even whenever you point or wherever you point your cursor. So we will now proceed to the drawing tools. Since you know the basic tools of how you operate the CAD. Most of the drawing tools involve the entering and inputting of commands. That's all for the basic controls.